Okay, Critter Hitter, you were asking about how to reassemble this. Okay, I'll do a quick little video here, no editing. You obviously are somewhere along the, at this point. Now you'll notice that I did take the um, trigger assembly off. I'll show you on that. It's fairly straightforward. Okay, as I said, we're going to take this assembly, slide the power wheel up, spring and hammer, and then the Daryl and bolt. Notice that the threads right here, they go to the front. Still a little bit of grease on there. Cushion the impact. This is a custom made bolt. This is by Talon Tunes. This gun was built by Talon Tunes, as a matter of fact. And uh, this, this eliminates the hammer slap. Uh, this notch right here, that's what that's what catches the sear. Sear comes up, holds that whenever you cock it. So this is going to go in first. Because this assembly here is a little bit long, I'm going to just drop this down in here. It goes all the way back. You heard the clunk. Now, we're going to slide this assembly in the frame like so now what I try to do is up here where these screws are for the uh, uh, barrel bands the, the centering sleeves I try to put those in the place that I need them to be as I push this back in there like so because I'm going to take and slide a little so this thing's got tension on it, so I'm going to slide a set screw. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to put a set screw in here to hold that assembly. We're a little bit hanging up here, and it's because I'm sure of the sear part. Give it a little bit of a push. Carefully from that set screw hole. And there it is. Okay, so let's get one of our set screws that came out of this. We're going to put it on the wrench. Find the right wrench. There we go. So Went a little bit too far, so we need to rotate this. There we go. Okay. Now I can see if you can, I can see where my holes are lined up. Yeah, there you go. You kind of see where that silver shows up, and then all of a sudden kind of goes black. Well, that's the hole. So right now, we just want to carefully manipulate this. Get our set screw started. Very gently. Kind of work that. If these go in tight, you're not doing it right. So be careful and do not cross thread. Okay, so the assembly is locked back in place. So now, now everything's put back together. So let's continue. Put our next one in. Now, there are set screws, get this where you can see it. This set screw, the long ones, because you have long ones and short ones, the long ones go in the bottom of the frame. Because this extra material down here, set screws have to pass through that and go into the, uh, that part of it. And then just continue putting the gun back together. I mean, that's the that is the order that everything goes into. And see, we got that like we want it now. Uh, one thing I want to note is right here. Okay, that's where your power wheel screw goes into. Be very careful putting that in. Put it in very gently. 
very lightly. Oops, wrong one. Same thing right here. Power wheel screw. When you put that in there, do not over tighten. You will, uh, you won't strip out the power. Strip it out on the power wheel, and then it'll fall out, and you won't be very happy. So, it's just an indicator. That's all it is. It doesn't need to be tight. Put it in there. It's kind of snug. Make sure it's kind of flush. It's good to go. So, there you are. Your back assembled. Your power wheel will now move and should move. I'll put the rest of the screws in. Put the trigger assembly back together. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So, hope this works out well for you.